Imagine a land of mystery where humans and dinosaurs live alongside one another. Such is the premise of one of the most enduring settings in prehistoric fiction, The Lost World. By some miracle of geography, prehistoric life has survived into the modern age, where it is discovered by explorers from the outside world. These primordial sanctuaries come in various forms, whether it's the subterranean caverns of Jules Verne's journey to the centre of the Earth, the lost island of Caprona in Edgar Rice Burroughs' Land That Time Forgot, or the Amazonian Plateau in Arthur Conan Doyle's The Lost World. Tales like these have endured as classic pulp adventure stories, but they also carry a little thematic baggage of their time. They have one foot very squarely in the Age of Exploration, aka colonialism, where the great white western explorers lay claim to these lands, subjugate their inhabitants, and begin extracting their resources for personal gain. Cold Crash Pictures has a fantastic video exploring this in depth which I highly recommend you check out. So is it even possible to create an entirely new Lost World setting in the modern world with modern themes? Well, part of the challenge there is, where would you even put it? Because in the first half of the 20th century, there were still a few cheeky blank spaces on the map where undiscovered lands might be hiding. But with modern science and satellites and global mapping technology, we've pretty much got the Earth's surface covered, and we have a much better understanding of what lies beneath it. So remote islands are out, hidden valleys are unlikely, and hollow Earth has been done plenty of times already. We need somewhere big enough and remote enough that an ecosystem could survive without being discovered, presented in a way that's relevant to modern themes and cultural issues, and of course we can allow ourselves to play a little fast and loose with the science, because it's science fiction after all. Well, funnily enough, I've actually spent a few months trying to figure this out, and I think I've come up with a pretty decent idea for a 21st century Lost World setting, so I'm going to hand over to someone with a far more dramatic reading voice than mine to present my pitch. In the early 21st century, mankind was facing an existential crisis. Industrial burning of fossil fuels and destruction of natural ecosystems was destabilizing global climate systems, creating extreme weather events, disease outbreaks, famines, and mass extinction. Millions of people were displaced from their homes and tensions began mounting as habitable land and essential resources became scarce. In the Southern Ocean, the Circumpolar Current, which for millions of years had shielded Antarctica from warm northern waters, collapsed. The continent began rapidly heating up, with huge glaciers and ice sheets melting away into the sea. Scientific research stations were evacuated, and news that the continent may become ice-free caught the attention of the world. With the Antarctic Treaty System due for renewal, world leaders started drafting up amendments to make use of the newly available land. Tragically, negotiations did not go smoothly. Each nation tried to claim more of the polar land than their competitors, with some even threatening a violent retaliation. With the world's ever-destabilizing climate becoming increasingly hazardous, desperate survivors and refugees began to ignore the instructions of their governments and make their own perilous journeys to Antarctica by sea and air. When they arrived, they discovered that the melting of the ice cap had revived a hidden world, a volcanically active wilderness of temperate rainforests, boggy marshlands, river valleys, and misty highlands populated by a menagerie of prehistoric beasts. It seems that in eons past, this ancient landscape was a sanctuary for polar dinosaurs and migrating megafauna, whose behaviors and biologies had adapted to living with Antarctica's binary seasons and unique geography, before being frozen in a state of suspended animation for millions of years. Interest in Antarctica reached fever pitch. The failure of governments to reach an agreement on the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty led to military and paramilitary forces converging on the South Pole, intent on seizing control of its land and untapped natural resources. This time of crisis and conflict drove new innovations in technology, such as bio-enhanced hardware, energy weapons, advanced robotics, and artificial intelligence. Armed presences, equipped with next-generation hardware, had to contend not only with one another, wild beasts, and treacherous terrain, but with new factions arising on the continent. 
Many refugees and pioneers had disowned their former home nations for their greed and lack of foresight, declaring themselves independent Antarctic citizens and fighting back against what they saw as a threat to humanity's last chance at survival. There were power struggles between self-appointed rulers, warlords, and their loyal followers, each with their own methods and ideologies. It is now the dawn of the 22nd century, and Antarctica is almost entirely ice-free during the summer. These societies that have emerged across this land are learning to create a new way of life, scavenging the leftovers of the past, innovating with the advanced technology of the age, adapting to their prehistoric neighbors, and holding on to the hope that they can survive, with hostile outside forces looking to exploit this lost world for their own gain. Three cheers to Edge for lending his voice to this project, and a big thank you to our Patreon supporters who make these videos possible, especially our faithful top tier supporters Carl Zuri Lou, Cedric Sammy, Isaiah Cole Toromont Cohen, Parasaurotherium Studios, and Robert Kessler. See you later!